Hey guys, this is Torna and today we're having a look at the roster API, uh, being able to actually import your roster directly into msf.gg so you can look at your roster at any time, which is just amazing. <laughs> um, I, I can have a look at all my characters here, I can load them all up and it lets me link it to other people as well. Like if I link this to uh, anyone else, they're going to be able to see exactly what characters I've got and everything. Um, and it, it's taking it live from the game. So I am very, very excited about this. This is probably one of the biggest things that we've been asking for since like the start of the game. And honestly, I think it's probably one of the best implementations of how they could have done this. So I am very excited. So how, how does it work? Basically on msf.gg, they're going to be pulling your roster from the, uh, essentially pulling it from the Marvel Strike Force servers. Now I know that there are some people who worry about, hey, this API is going to open them up for other stuff happening, like people injecting stuff and stuff like that. But as far as I'm aware, it's basically one way. It's like how, it's like you um, just querying the, the database. It kind of brings it up so that way everyone's going to be able to. That's, that's my understanding of it. I'm not sure entirely if that's um, complete, but as far as I'm aware, there's been intensive kind of study to make sure that there's not going to be any kind of ill effects being able to let people do this. Now, you do have to actually sign up to be able to pull from the API and everything, but Given the fact that msf.gg is linked in with Boundless, owned by Boundless now, that's probably as to why they're able to do it. So, how does it work? Um, here is my roster here. As you can see, I've already updated and everything um, because I was lazy um, and I used to use Zara tools to be able to do it and Mantis. And then honestly, it, it was such a hassle to be able to do it that I just ended up not doing it. But you can see here, everything's up to date. Mr. Negative's not there. Uh, Mr. Negative's not in my roster, obviously. Spider-Man Noir's not in my roster. Uh, and it's even got like my favorites up here. All these characters up here with a little heart are the ones that I've got favorite at the moment. So the these top like 12 characters, the ones that I'm working on or got favorited for a reason, um, various different reasons why they're up there. So it, it even shows you like how many shards. I actually really love this. So um, all you need to do is hit this sync roster up here and it's going to be able to do it. Now you need to have actually like hooked up to the API and um, have it like enabled and everything like that on your account. I believe at the moment it's only in beta testing, so not everyone's got it yet, but I believe the idea is to kind of roll it out as fast as possible so that way everyone's able to do it. So you can see here my roster um, and I'm just going to go into game. So I'm in Strike Force right here. Now we're using blue stacks for this because that's just the way I like to play the game. If you guys are interested in getting it, uh, playing Marvel Strike Force on PC, head on down to the description and you're going to be able to get blue stacks there. I'm going to update my She-Hulk up to level 85 because I am inevitably going to need her at level 85 anyway. I've kind of been holding out on doing it. So let's do that. So there, she's level 85 now. I don't want to take her to gear 16 because I, I want to save that stuff for Red Hulk here. I should probably chuck this gear into Red Hulk actually as well. Why not? So we've updated someone's level. We've updated someone's gear now. I need gear 15 stuff. Whoops. Um, and what else? Let's upgrade an ability as well. Let's upgrade She-Hulk's. Uh, no, I don't want to upgrade She-Hulk actually. Uh, Red Hulk's already maxed. Uh, let's see, Taskmaster, have you got something that I want to upgrade there? No, I don't know. Who do I want to upgrade? Let's upgrade this passive here. Why not? I like my underworld team. I'm happy to upgrade them. So you can see there I've upgraded like uh, someone's ability, someone's gear, and then someone's, um, ab uh, abilities as well. So we're going to head back over into the into Chrome and we're going to hit sync roster. Now, in theory, this should pull directly here. Boom. You can see here, She-Hulk, level 85. I can actually see her stats as well. Like if I click on it, this is this is my She-Hulk stats. If I look at the roster screen, so you can see here 659K there. If I go back into Strike Force here, then I'll be able to see the same thing in here, 659K, boom, exactly the same. So we upgraded She-Hulk's abilities. That worked all fine. We upgraded Green Goblin's passive. You can see here the little uh, orange five there, and that's all fine. And then the Red Hulk stuff that we chucked in there as well, the gear that we chucked into Red Hulk. 
So you can see here, it's not even like, I didn't even need to log out of the game or anything like that. And even then, like if I go, I'm going to do a secret one here. Um, what do I want to do secretly? So that way you guys have to guess as to what I upgraded here. So I'm upgrading something right now. So we've literally just queried it. We just queried it to upgrade something. And then if I sync roster again, boom, you can see the upgrade's done. If you, I'm gonna give you a second, look around. What did I upgrade? It's one of these 12 characters up here. It's not Gambit because he's already maxed or max as I can get him at the moment. Uh, if you guess shield operative going up a couple gear levels, that would be correct. I've just chucked some purple stuff in here. So there's no cooldown on it or anything like that. We can also sort our characters. So we can sort in our filled red stars. So I can see uh, my seven red star characters here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven red stars. Oh wait, and... Uh, Gold, uh, gambit up here, obviously. That's the filled ones. <laughs> um, I've also actually no wait. I've, I've got Mister Fantastic seven star. Okay, um, star rank. You can sort by everything, and it's instant. Boom. And then we can we can filter. So I can show you guys my A force. Boom. Now you can see what my A force are. I can go back, I can look up my bio characters, I can look up my brotherhood, I can look up whatever I want. Then I can go into my Dark Dimension Planner. So from here, I can go in and be like, oh, hey, I want to bring in these characters into Dark Dimension. What am I still missing? You can see this was my like initial planning and it updates directly from what I've got. So I don't want Scream anymore. I want to bring in, who do I actually bring into City? Um... Shang-Chi. And you can see here. So if I mouse over the characters, it's also going to show you guys what characters require it. And again, because of the fact that this is pulling directly from the API, I'm looking directly at the characters I've got in the game currently. This is going to show that. And I, it doesn't have to be Dark Dimension 5. If I want to do Dark Dimension 4, boom. It's going to slowly calculate through it. And you can see here, who do I need those on? Oh, my Nebula, <clears throat> and then Dark Dimension 3, etc., etc. My roster stats, so I can see all my characters here. I can sort by them. So I want to see which character I have that has the most health. Morgan Le Fay, obviously. Then Omega Red, then Gambit. I My Gambit's only got 850, 825k. That's disappointing. I need to get him a higher. <laughs> I want to get him up to the top of everything, but I think that's going to be impossible. It's, actually, wait, that's a... This must not be taking into account his health. No, that's not taking into account my Gambit's health because my Gambit is higher than that. Um, he's at over, like his passive, I don't think is taken into account there because he's sitting at 1.2 uh, mil. Um, yeah, so this is honestly amazing this is what we've been asking for the whole time um, i just wanted to kind of show you guys there's lots of other stuff that you can do on msf.gg like if you want to look for an alliance you can look for an alliance here um there's cluster stuff in here if i want to look at my inventory i want to look at my full pieces of bio gear no wait that's not it is it bits no what is it under I wanted to try and look at my full crafted stuff. Uh, not under mini uniques, not under uniques, not under cats. Huh. I can't see, I can't see my full crafted stuff. Either way, I can see my full crafted stuff up here. And again, this is taken directly from the game. Like uh, this augmented, I can see there, I've got a, a teal um, tech piece that I'm, is sitting there being able to be used. I've got a teal, uh, uh bio piece there um so worst case scenario if you're doing what is it um like pocket dimension or whatever and you get some gear here 
and then completely forget about it like I did apparently. Um, you, can, <laughs> you can look it up here and you can see exactly what full pieces of gear you've got and what full piece of gear you're after because I need 22 of this um, and be able to share it with other people as well. Or you can take screenshots of it. You can do whatever you like. Um, it's purely up to you guys. Um, but I'd love to hear from you guys what you think. Um, huge, huge, huge shout out to Ty J and Pimp Toxie who worked tirelessly on this, worked with Boundless to create this amazing API. It's, it's nice to have good news. And to me, this is really, really good news. So that's it for today, guys. Have a great day and goodbye.